Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome to another ADD ADHD rant. Here, I talk about multiple things within entertainment and entertainment news for a brief period of time. And we got a lot of teasers and trailers that came out this week, so let me just give you my quick thoughts on them. Toy Story 4. That looks interesting, actually. You know, I'm kind of interested. Now, all I gotta do is watch Toy Story 3. I know, I know, don't kill me, all right? Pet Cemetery. Who's responsible for this marketing? Because that's a sure way to get fans to actually go into watch this movie. Basically, make a trailer that is divisive among fans of the actual novel and fans of the original movie. You're definitely going to get a lot of people excited to go in to see that movie. Ugh. Child's Play. Wow, MGM, you must be really desperate for cash when you're remaking a movie where the original run is still producing movies, actually has a TV series in the works, and actually still has the fans watching that. What, you really think you're going to get new fans for this remake as well as the old ones? But then again, you guys do have Aubrey Plaza. To be continued on that one. Oh, I forgot. Avengers Endgame had a spot in the Super Bowl. Not much really happened there. But piggybacking off of that, we actually got a plot synopsis for Avengers Endgame. And I forgot what it was word for word, but in essence, what it basically states is that, you know, everyone that's, you know, left is still feeling the effects from the end of Avengers Infinity War and... The people that are around are actually trying to reverse everything Thanos did with sacrifices, you know, expected to be made. So, if you're a fan of comics, I'm not talking about comic book movies. I'm talking about actual comics, like really reading them. You can tell that this is basically saying, hey, we're taking the last two issues of Infinity Gauntlet and overbloating it. Pretty much how Avengers Infinity War was the two comics of Thanos Quest and the first issue of Infinity Gauntlet. Overbloated. Big time. You know. Now, going a little bit deeper, adding some of the elements of the previous movie, you know, we all saw what happened with Doctor Strange giving up the Time Stone. And, yeah. Sacrifices being made. We're pretty sure Captain America is definitely dying since, you know, basically Chris Evans, his contract is up. You know, just saying, y'all. Speaking about contracts being up and things controversial. So last week I spoke about how Ben Affleck is 100% out of the DCU. But Matt Reeves is still doing a Batman movie and there's a rumor going around that Robert Pattinson, you know, from Edward from the Twilight movies, is actually, you know, in talks to play Bruce Wayne. Now, here's the thing. People think Robert Pattinson, they think Twilight. And people are automatically hating on this. And I should be in that crowd, but I'm not. And I'm going to tell you why I am cool with this. Because... Matt Reeves did state that this Batman movie he's doing is pretty much a very young and early years Batman. So I'm seeing this more in the light of Frank Miller's Batman Year One, where Bruce Wayne just came back and he's taking on the mantle. Now, people will say, oh, it sounds like Batman Begins. Well, to be honest, Christian Bale was a little old to play Bruce Wayne at that time, you know. So having Robert Pattinson in, I'll be honest, I, I could see Robert Pattinson. He has the physical look of a very young, early 20s Bruce Wayne, right? But people talk about how bad his acting is, to which I said, you know what? Watch Good Time. You know, movie came out two years ago. It's a crime thriller. And... 
he was actually really awesome with that. You know, so the people that basically lump Robert Pattinson and, you know, oh, God, I, I can't believe I forgot her name. But the other chick that played uh, Bella, you know, they lumped them both together. Kirsten Stewart. They lumped them both together as, like, really horrible actors and actresses. To which I say, Kirsten Stewart is actually a great actress. You have to watch a lot of her indie work. And Robert Pattinson, with that performance in Good Time, I'm seeing that he's probably having a resurgence and just trying to get acting cred and not being in high blockbusters right away. You know, so don't hate on him on that idea as of yet, you know. So, speaking about hating on, you know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of things about James Cameron as of, as of late. Yes, that's primarily due to, you know, Anita Battle Angel coming out this week. I thought it came out this weekend, but it's actually coming out in the middle of the week, you know. And, you know, he was basically on the red carpet and he gave a couple, he gave a couple of interviews. One of them, he talked about the new Terminator movie where the title is supposed to be called Dark Fate, you know, which, to be honest, um, I'm not really looking forward to that one as much. Because, like, I'm, I'm done with the Terminator movies. I don't think... He he said he liked the idea of Genesis, you know, and then the movie came out. And I'm like, yeah. And he has not really been trying hard as a director lately. But he's been producing a lot. And, you know, the thing that really got me interested is the fact that he talked about how he is still trying to push for the new Alien movie to come out. Now... For those that don't know, let me clarify some things. You know, the Alien Covenant that came out, the sequel to Prometheus, which was a really Scott movie, but prior to Alien Covenant coming out, you know, Neil Blomkamp, the director of um, District 9, Chappie, and Asinium, I can't pronounce that out of the way, he wanted to do an Alien movie that was supposed to be a sequel to Aliens. And... Everything he did for Oak Studio, his own independent movie thing, it looked awesome. But really, Scott had a you know huge dick up his ass, and he was upset that you know people were more excited for Neil Blomkamp's vision than his. He used office politics to boot Neil Blomkamp out, and Neil Blomkamp publicly said he's not working on it anymore. Well, James Cameron wanted to produce that, and he actually said in a red carpet interview, you know. He is still working to get Neil Blomkamp's Alien movie out. And that is awesome. You know, I, you know, I'm really, really hopeful that James Cameron could pull this off. But that, that all has to happen right after the deal with Disney is done. And we have to see what the Disney heads say. But that's everything that I got for this week. You know, do you have any questions, comments, concerns or anything? Drop them below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter and Instagram at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But till then, it's been Token Dave, Dorky Token Black Guy, just trying to get by. Catch all of y'all later.